Uh, I own an apartment in a complex in suburban Melbourne, comprising of around 100 units spread over two buildings. The block is made up of a ground floor and three floors above. Each apartment has a deck. All of the owners assumed they owned their deck when they purchased their apartment. The complex is not quite eight years old. Problems were identified with the design and construction of the decks a few years ago after occupation. In dealing with the builder and developer to get compensation to rebuild the decks, it's become clear the decks are common property as the boundary is in a face on the post and the original surveyor says this was intentional to ensure all the decks looked the same. What would be involved in changing the ownership of the decks to part of the title for each apartment? Um, I think it, it's the same question. Well, what's involved? The process. Um, the, the process is this. If um, if you're seeking unanimous resolution or you're going to VCAT asking for an order that a plan's amended, you need to obviously produce the amended plan um, and say, well, you know, th th this is what we've got currently and there needs to be a juxtaposition um, in what's called a Section 32 um, amended plan of subdivision. So the pretty easy step on what's involved um, as a preliminary to everything discussed uh, this morning is to get a section 32 plan prepared. And all that does is state where the boundary lies. Um, so you get that prepared and then you seek your unanimous resolution or alternatively you go to VCAT and you seek an order that uh, the plan is amended um, um, in accordance with the um, draft section 30, 32 plan proposed. Um, as far as... Uh, uh, the, the default position on, I, I, I noted that it was an interior face um, boundary and um, it seems to me that um, on in interior faces, um, it, your, your post is probably common property. I heard reference to that. There was no reference to the tiles and membrane. If you'll indulge me for about 30 seconds, I think it's just important to note when we're talking about balconies on interior face plans that tiles and membranes um, are part of the lot they're not part of common property. There was always arguments, so I've been having this argument for 23 years, that um, um, the boundary must be read from the structural part of the balcony, which is going to be the bearers and the joists, et cetera. The stuff that lies above that, the elements being the tiles, the screeds, um, and the membrane, it's not structural. You don't see it in structural engineering drawings. It doesn't have load bearing capacity. You see it, you see tiles in, um, off the plan contracts and schedules of fittings and finishes. And why distinguish between a balcony tile on the one hand um, as compared to a kitchen or a bathroom tile on the other? No one ever seriously says that the OC should replace their kitchen tile. Maybe they have, I, um, I haven't seen it. But for some reason, when um, it comes to balconies, there's always this notion that tiles and um, membranes are owned as corporation property. Well, um, I've been saying for all that time, they're not... Um, it took a long time, but there's two cases out of VCAT. You've got to be careful not to say them too quickly together because one's called Fisher and one's called Munger. Uh, but Fisher and Munger um, both stand for the proposition that tiles and membranes are indeed uh, private property on interior face plans.